Jake, did you make those brownies for Kayla? Nice. Homemade. Really? Well, definitely. Well, I'm sure you had some, some, some roll. Oh, not really. <laughs> no, I'll just be like, yeah, I made it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. Jake, how you doing? Cold. Good to be home? We've had a little view to get away of the land. Letters that you never meant to send. Lost or thrown away. Any words? Any words? Are we gonna name him so he's part of the group? Jose. Jose the ball.
What do you guys want to say? Because I'm not freezing. Still alive. <laughs> I'm not freezing. All right, this is the final push up to Baldy. It's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock and we're still strong. You think you could play a soccer game after this? Heck no. As I could. Yeah, he could. He just rolls with it. Alex, are you coming? Hey. Guys, would I lie to you? Would I lead you this far? Yeah. Yes! Just to tell you we got another two miles to climb? Yes! Actually, yeah. Definitely would! No, I wouldn't. Oh, I love you guys too much. Two miles was the hut. It's not that you would, it's you do. <laughs> Is he inside your bag all warm and toasty? Nope. He's hiding. Oh. So no one steals him. I see. I don't know. You, you know, one up me because I'm the one that gets hurt on everything. Hey, if anybody can one up me from the Catalina trip. Take a little trip, take a little trip, take a little trip to see. So it's 607 Friday 608 Friday the 13th. And Jake's got a new bag. Spoon. I want to wake up where you are I won't say anything at all So why don't you smile Yeah, we're gonna let it slide The life you kill The priest is on the phone Your father hit the wall Your mom disowned you Don't suppose I'll ever know So me to be a man Or something I can change I live around here I wanna wake up where you are I won't say anything at all So why don't you smile Nothing but fall Oh, man 
Here, home. How much do I owe you? Try this one. Huh? Tylenol or aspirin? Hey, man, that's going to cost you. What do you think about that pass, Jake? Well, not again. So I have to tell you a story about the second trip that we took up Iron Mountain. I was initially surprised that Jake was even interested in coming considering the last time we hiked this mountain, uh, we ran out of water and Jake ended up carrying his backpack four miles in his arms because it was infested by a colony of killer ants. What happened Jake? So we run out of water about a quarter of the way back from the peak. And so Brother Collins and I decided to sprint the whole way back to get some water. We come back and everything's engulfed in ants. Yeah, I, I mean, did you have food in here? We had not any food, just the- like, What are they going for? Mess kit. But Jake decided to come. And not only did Jake come on this hike, uh, he brought along his dad. Brian came on this hike with us. Now I'm sure Jake warned Brian what he was getting into and the, the strenuous nature of the Iron Mountain hike, but Brian came along anyways, and I didn't see much of Brian or Jake anywhere on the trail along this hike. Uh, I stayed with most of the slower boys, and Brian and Jake tackled this mountain like pros, and what really impressed me about Jake on this hike was that I never saw him because he was consistently hiking with his dad. He chose, instead of hiking with his friends, to stay with his dad and stick with his dad and make sure his dad made it to the top. And so while I didn't see much of Jake or Brian on this hike, I can tell you that I was really proud of the way Jake chose his dad over his friends and made sure that Brian was successful.
so we might not be going far even in the little one. <laughs> oh, Bailey, cute. Can you sit right? Thanks, just wait. I'll get a picture of the three of you, my three little monkeys. Oh, look, I've dropped my flower. Oops, I've dropped my flower. Oops, I've dropped my flower. Oh, look, I've dropped my flower. <laughs> 100. Oh. 